Hi my lovelies, welcome back to my channel and for everybody who is new, I'm Leora and I'm so glad you found me. So welcome to today's video because I am so excited to film this. Actually for the last couple of days I was like, what I'm gonna film, what I'm gonna film. I want to have one video for this week and I was, you know, people have been expecting me to do an update on my brother in Ukraine, which I kind of want to do. But listen, <laughs> I know that you guys want to know and maybe I'm just going to say a few words about it at the end of this video. Because because I don't know if I want to make an extra video about this. It's also that us within the family we're talking about this like almost non-stop and it is very very straining for me and then for me to sit down here and talk about it and then also to edit it and then like it, it is a lot to take for my gentle soul. <laughs> but I do understand that of course you are very very involved and I also made a very very big deal when this whole uh, war in Ukraine started so uh, and it is a big deal but I don't don't think I want to make an extra video about this. So this is not going to be an exclusive uh, Ukraine update video, but maybe at the end of the video. Okay, so, but for now, for now, sweeties, we want to talk about makeup because my last night, I, <laughs> sweeties, I made a huge mistake. I went online on my phone and I went on all those sites on Instagram, you know, the, the makeup release sites, um, and looked at what I have missed while I was offline because seriously I have been not looking at Instagram or even like how my channel is doing or anything while I was offline. Now if you don't know, hi. <laughs> didn't even introduce myself. I'm Leora, makeup artist and stylist and um, I just came back like a month ago from a several month long break. Okay, so that was, uh, I kind of feel like I missed so much and I thought I don't care but now, now I know how much I missed and I'm like, a, like a tiny little something in me died because I missed all of this. You know what I mean? It's really, really crazy. I'm trying to not be as crazy as I used to be about the new releases because it is just really, really, really unhealthy. It is very expensive and it's very, very not necessary for a normal person to have that much makeup. Now I have a super huge collection. I want to say I have not counted lately, but by now it's probably 600 palettes plus. Okay. And mostly I'm more mostly interested in palettes because I also have like 200 blushes and probably 300 highlighters and like who cares I don't need this I do not need this so for me it was super super healthy to not look at anything and feel like I don't need anything and I didn't miss anything now no I didn't make this mistake and went back online and I'm like oh is that beautiful and in a way I'm happy about it because it just shows me that I still have the drive and I still have the love for it but it kind of also puts the, the the pressure back on because like how am I supposed to buy all of this <laughs> really but I want to show you a few things of the things that I saw that launched while I was offline that if I would have been online or if I have any way of being able to afford some of that during the year, if it is still available, I would love to get it. Okay, so that is basically what it is. Now, if you would like to watch that, then please join me. You know what? I have not done videos like this in a very, very long time because I have to kind of go into the more um, easy to edit kind of videos because of my restrictions and timing that I have right now with my very big family and with my rescue dogs and everything. But, and of course my funds are going to my family and to my rescue dogs. You know, there is not much left for Leora, which is it's okay it is okay not complaining about it it was my choice to rescue the animals and everything but um still i'm kind of the kind of person who wants it all <laughs> you know sue me okay but we want to go today and that's why i'm just going to show you a few of them a few of the beautiful things that have launched and i kind of feel like when i'm looking at um at my little thing file that, that where i have saved everything that 
uh, for part of it at least, I can see a reoccurring theme. I don't know, I have not followed the market and what has been released like in the broad sense enough to know if this has been an ongoing theme in general or if it is just this stuff that speaks to me. So, but whatever the case may be, it works well for me, <laughs> just saying. Okay, so I'm gonna move to the side. I cannot believe that I'm saying this because it has been so, so long that I have moved to the side. <laughs> Yeah, so I'm gonna move to the side so you can also see how my backdrop has bent. Do you see this? It's because the, the dogs have been jumping up on uh, my backdrop, which is basically just a like a photography backdrop. The wall is like at some point behind that, but this is not the wall. Okay, so just saying um, it has bent in a little bit and I couldn't be bothered to fix it. Okay, sweeties, let us uh, start talking about this. And I don't know what is available anymore. If it is limited edition, I don't really know either. When it has launched, mostly I don't know. No, it has happened while I was offline, which was till last night. Okay, sweeties, let us start talking about the makeup. Now, I want to talk about uh, playing in makeup by Yolondo. That's what I want to start with because the upper palette that you see here, the more colorful one, is actually one that started to be sneak peeked while I was about to go offline. And I think it's beautiful. I think it's absolutely beautiful. I also really, really like the brand. I think they have amazing products and I I actually just worked with the Relentless palette the other day and I really really like the performance of those shadows and I think it's phenomenal. Then of course you also see the Artistry Unleashed palette which is of course a very neutral palette. The beautiful thing about playing in makeup by Yolando is first of all she has mostly big palettes which is me, mostly colorful palettes which is me and also she's always always having enough depth and enough drama in the palette which is me. So that kind of makes it the perfect match and I really really like this. So you do have 36 shades in the colorful palette which is the Vigorously palette which retails for $50 and then you do have 30 shades in the Artistry uh, Unleashed palette for $45. This is an all matte palette. Now I just closed the page which <laughs> very professional. Now I just have to wait for the internet to come back. But um, thank you. Reception is super super bad down here. Okay, super super nice. I also do have a code with Playing and Makeup by Yolando. Just in for all of my codes, just click on the link to my link tree down in the description box and you will find all my links to my social media and of course also my discount codes and everything you need to know. Okay, so this I think is very very beautiful. The colorful palette is more my thing and I'm going to talk about neutral palettes a little bit later in the video because um, there are more examples, okay? But this is also a very very nice palette but if I would have the choice I would then just go for the more colorful one. Okay sweeties, let us talk about the next release where I was like oh, this is so beautiful and I remember about this brand that they had some kind of a palette when I was still doing my new makeup releases videos. I was super in love with the look of that palette, I was considering to try that brand for the first time. Ended up not adding anything more right before my break, but now I'm like, Oh, is that beautiful? So this is from Mika Beauty Shop and this is the Glacier palette. Sweeties, this is beautiful. This retails for about $56. I think this is so, so stunning, so stunning. And of course I love green and I love purple and I love blue. So you cannot do any better for me personally. These are the three colors that I love to use the most in my makeup. Of course I'm using all the col other colors too. The other day I just made it like an all yellow look and stuff like that. So I have no really restrictions. But if I would have to choose a color, like my favorite color is green, but uh, after that blue and purple are on the same level and if you put that for me in the same palette, you're just like, it's it's like a good night kiss. It's like you, you're sending me off into the... <laughs> into a very very beautiful place plus there is super nice depth in this palette now i do not know of course about the quality i have not tried it but if any of those releases if you have them just let me know in the comments how they perform and if you would recommend them in this palette of course you have 15 shades which is a very very nice size palette you have eight mattes and you do have seven shimmers and duochromes so i think this is beautiful 
absolutely stunning now again i don't know what is available if this is still available of course this has launched probably at the beginning of the winter or end of fall or something like this but yeah so so beautiful okay so let us also talk about lethal cosmetics because they have launched two palettes so we do have the metamorphosis palette which is the one with the green shades and then also the wait is that true I don't know it could also be because the other one is the evergreen palette one of them is the one with the green shades okay so I don't know and um, all of these shades are available as singles as well of course that is usually how they do it and this has of course released some time ago and they retail for about $56 each all right so yeah th this is out of my price range I cannot when I think about getting those palettes and then also by paying for international shipping and then also the customs to bring them into the country it's probably going to be close to 160 170 dollars for those two palettes this will not happen you know what i mean in case you don't know lethal cosmetics is based in germany in berlin as far as i know and i live in israel you know so that is basically what it is there is my location restricts me a lot in what I'm buying you know if I were to live in America for example and I would order from indie brands in America I think I would order much much more not that I need to not that I need anything but I think because shipping would be much much uh, easier to handle and of course you don't have to pay customs within in America um, you know <sighs> You, you you guys are really really blessed just just count your blessings okay because if one doesn't live in a in a place like this then it is much much harder and way more expensive like you wouldn't believe okay but in any case these palettes look really 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 pretty and i also have tried of course lethal cosmetics and um i have a lot of friends actually who are super big fans of lethal cosmetics but um yeah so that's basically it i think they look spectacular and uh, let me know if you have them okay then i definitely also wanted to talk about uh, this one here from ace Boutte because uh, this is the aurora palette and i think wait let me just check because i think they came out didn't they come out with two palettes also where are they i thought there was the envy palette and also the aurora palette i think I don't know I can't find it right now but I'm going to in case I find the picture where I had them side by side I'm still going to put them up because they also looked so so beautiful why can't I find it now this is so strange I only have the uh, the um, aura palette right in front of me okay but both of them have 12 shades uh, the aura palette has seven mattes and five shimmers I don't know now about the envy palette but that one is a little bit more green as far as I remember I hope that I can put it up here <laughs> I feel very very uh, not professional right now okay so this released the end of November and um, super huge fan of Ace Boutte right here I have I don't know if I have all of the palettes but I have most of the palettes from Ace Boutte and the, the formula is beautiful I've always enjoyed it and uh, this is also a brand that always gives the depth and the drama and the options and I just love to have options you know so this is beautiful now of course this palette has 12 shades again that's on the small side for me if I have the option to have 18 shades, I would always pr pr uh, prefer to have 18 shades, obviously. But um, nothing wrong with a smaller palette, which for me is 12 shades. Definitely a small palette for me. But um, beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Okay, then let's also talk about Colourpop, because they came out with this collection. I don't know when this dropped. Let me see. Do I know? maybe at some point in the beginning of December maybe so I'm sure they came out with a million other things since then uh, but this is the Aurora Struck collection and of course you see the palette and I think this palette is actually really really nice and I think you can also see that we're seeing here a similar color scheme in a lot of the releases do you also see this I feel like we're doing a lot with um 
with the purple and uh, mauvey tones and then also these um, greenish tones cold greens and you know there is a lot like that going on and I uh, hear for example I really really like this of course I do like the price point of Colourpop not the super biggest fan of the formula I mean there there are definitely better things out there I think personally but um, it's a big palette really like it I really like the depth in the palette I like it that there are lighter options which makes the blending much more easy and um, yeah I think it's really really beautiful so just saying so this is beautiful then again another release that has that is picking up on this color scheme that I just mentioned and that is from Wicked Widow Beauty and this is the scissor hands 2 eyeshadow palette I actually do have the scissor hands one palette. Now I don't know if this is still available or not. This released on December 16th or it went on pre-order on the, uh, on uh, December 16th. So this retails for $52. It's a beautiful palette. Sweeties, like really. This is absolutely stunning. And also the scissor hands, the, the original scissor hands palette from, was it, uh, yeah, I think it was last year. It was also super super nice with beautiful depth a lot of drama in this palette but I almost like this one more I have to say you know this is beautiful absolutely stunning color story what can I say it's so so nice and I am like I'm a big fan so this is a Wicked Widow Beauty definitely check it out see if this is still available I'm in love it's beautiful <laughs> all right then let's also talk about Glaminatrix because they have come out with the glamorous palette and I was so surprised about the name because when I look at this color scheme for me this is not really glamorous because maybe I'm in my restricted mind I feel like glamorous is then more like neutrals and stuff like this glamorous if I would call a neutral palette the glamorous palette kind of makes more sense to me as like something normal but to call a palette like this glamorous palette is already so cool that it kind of makes sense in its own right don't you think <laughs> it is so so cool and again of course nice depth nice playfulness and again those cool greens those purple mauvey tones there is something that is being picked up all over the place and I really want to know what that is like why why is that what happened while I was offline that I don't know about that everybody is doing this color scheme you know I'm very like if you know please let me know because I would love to and uh, I would love to know this is this it's really beautiful now another version <laughs> of this color scheme was released by Ensley Rain Cosmetics and they came out with the Midwinter Dream palette with uh, 21 shades for a whopping $89 wow that is Wow, I only just now saw the price. That is, of course, quite the price tag not happening for me. I think there is also um, highlighters and, and all kinds of other stuff, um, glosses and stuff in this collection. And I think it is in collaboration with Brittany Hoffman. Um, I think the palette is super stunning. Super, super stunning, way out of my reach or what I can afford, absolutely. But the palette itself is absolutely beautiful. And what also, Ensley Rain Cosmetics, in case you want to go back and see the previous releases, they also do an amazing job with their outer packaging. Not only the color schemes themselves, also super beautiful, really from what I can remember, but also the outer packaging is always top notch. You know, it's not just like, I don't know, sometimes, you know, maybe you remember that I'm not the biggest fan of anime. I'm surrounded by children who are very big fans of anime, but I kind of feel sometimes, you know, all these anime related palettes that used to come out. I don't know even if there are a lot of palettes like this out anymore. I have no idea because I've not followed anything, but sweeties, I just sometimes felt like to put some kind of random anime character on a palette is like... <laughs> <laughs> you know I don't know it feels very like I don't connect to that at all but that's just me okay it's just me but I kind of feel like I mean look at the outer packaging at that picture and then uh, the midwinter dream I, I, f I find this very inspiring and it just really really connects me that there is a um, like a portal to the dream world you know I think this is beautiful beautifully executed and then of course also the color scheme again you know with the movie tones and those cool greens and the very very big depth and I love it it's beautiful 
Okay, a different thing that I definitely wanted to show you uh, came out from CXC Beauty. Sweeties, uh, this palette... <laughs> This is uh, apparently his first mini collection of this year. Wait, when did this release? Let me see. When was this posted? Five days ago. Six. Okay, so this is Christian's first uh, mini collection of this year. And this palette comes either with a white, in a white palette or in a black palette. I personally prefer the white palette because I think it makes the, um, the shadows, especially the darker shadows, um, stand out a little bit more. You see better what you have, but that's of course personal preference. I think this is beautiful. I love that he came out with a mostly gray and silver palette. It is beautiful. I love those tones. Is that something for every day for me? No, but doesn't have to be, you know? I think this is absolutely stunning and when I saw this I was like, yes, <laughs> this is so, so beautiful. I love it. And also I love the formula and of course you see there also a blush and then a translucent highlighter and then there are also three lippies in the collection. This is stunning. Okay, the palette, let's see. The X-ray palette retails for $59, the blush for $28, the highlighter for $28 and then the three lippies for $17 a piece and you can have the whole bundle for $149. This is available now. Um, I do have a code with Christian in case you want to check this one out and use it. This... <laughs> This is so, so cool. Really, really nice. Okay, then let's go into something that is completely different from what we just saw from CXC Beauty, but um, also very, very stunning and something super, super smart in addition to that. So this is from Sugar Drizzle and they came out with an all matte palette. 20 shades this released already back in September I don't even know if this is still available if it was limited edition I have no idea but this is the matte palette from sugar drizzle now maybe you remember or maybe you know that sugar drizzle has been coming out with beautiful releases but as far as I know before this matte palette all of the palettes were shimmers only duochromes multi-chromes shimmers you know for me it is very very hard to use shimmer only palettes I have besties who do looks only using shimmers I don't do that I feel very awkward doing that it I feel it doesn't look good on me it looks silly on me but it's just my perf personal preference I have several palettes from sugar drizzle I love the formula but I was always missing the mats and for me personally as someone who is posting pictures for brands not that they're paying me to do it but I want to then dedicate one look to a brand when I'm posting my look. I don't want to tag, uh, I don't know, 10 different brands in one look, why, you know? So I think it is the super smartest thing to come out with an all matte palette to give people like me who have a hang up about this, the option to use the Sugar Drizzle palettes and use that Sugar Drizzle palette in a combined look and be able to post it and dedicate it to one brand. For me, stuff like this is important you know i know that most people would probably don't care or not care but uh i do <laughs> you know so for me first of all color scheme super super beautiful but also a very 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 smart business move which is nice and we should be smart you know so this is really nice again i don't know if this is available i hope it is and i hope honestly that they will come out with more palettes with other color options because of course this is mostly purple a little bit blue but mostly purple and mauve and um you know this is not everybody's preference for me it's perfect but um, other people maybe would like other colors maybe they will come out with uh, two or three more of these kinds of palettes with different color combinations i think it would be super super smart all right then let's also talk about this one from clarity this is the croc palette um a beautiful <laughs> love it really because neutrals and greens is just so healing so soothing so grounding there's something super smart about coming out with a palette like this i could probably uh, deal with a little bit more depth in the palette overall and of course it is kind of also on the small side for me but i think it is super super beautiful <laughs> love it and yeah so in case i also uh, do have a code with clarity in case you want to use it again click on the link tree okay um this is that one then we definitely need to talk about this one martin cosmetics when did that happen and why sweeties why did nobody contact me and tell me leora have you seen this <laughs> why 
<laughs> not blaming anyone but sweeties really <laughs> There's also another palette later on where I'm like, why did this launch and not a single person sent this to me in DMs on Instagram to tell me, Leora, have you seen this? <laughs> have you all forgotten me? Really? No. Okay. Seriously. Now, this is a beautiful palette. So this is the Mission Triple X collection from Martin Cosmetics. Okay. So this collection includes the eyeshadow palette with 18 shades and then a highlighter palette with three shades. Okay. So this launched on October 18th. I don't have a price here. Uh, this though looks absolutely stunning. I do have the, now I forgot the name of the palette, 696 or 969. What was the name of the palette? <laughs> I have this, this gray dark a mysterious palette that they came out with. I think it was the, was it the Halloween release of 2021 I want to say? I really really liked it it was beautiful um, but this sweeties this is in so many ways way more versatile while still being super grungy and I love it it's beautiful I would love to have this seriously um, Martin Cosmetics is also available now here in Europe Asia of course uh, on Beauty Bay which makes life a little bit more easy also for us here and of course I couldn't get this easier I think um, this is beautiful uh, definitely on my wish list. Okay, sweeties, now we have to talk about P. Louise for a tiny little bit because they actually, or she actually came out with a couple of releases where I like, I want all of this. I want all of this, you know, because personally, I really like P. Louise. I have several palettes. I don't, I don't have all of them, but um, I just like recently worked with the Worldies palette and with the oh, all kinds of, like, I have them all here. But in any case, they came out with so many palettes while I was offline and I'm like, how uh, was I gone for that long? <laughs> how can that even be? Okay. Now, thing is, some of those palettes are completely neutral and that is fine because I really really like to have neutral looks and the option of having neutral looks and to have a palette that gives me everything that I need in neutrals in a formula that I love okay so that's why I'm actually considering to even getting myself the neutral palettes and you know and maybe throw out and dump my Morphe palettes and stuff like that because yes I could of course have similar palettes from Morphe but then it's Morphe you know it's not really the formula where I say wow this blows me away is it okay yes I can use whatever you know but then again like if I already buy something then I kind of want to have the stuff that I really really vibe with and that works well on me and where I just know that the, the quality is top-notch and the the whole release the idea around the release uh, release is inspirational and so well executed and thought through and everything so yeah and then let's just just talk about uh, this palette okay so this is the if the ground fits palette of course this is warm neutrals with a bit of yellow I love this it's beautiful it's a big palette of course they are always super super bulky which is maybe not the easiest thing to handle and maybe also not the preference of everybody it's also not my preference but I kind of deal with it because I love the formula okay so you have I think you have a drawer in the palette with another level of shades so the upper shades basically the upper level is warm neutrals with the yellow what I just showed you and I'm unfortunately I only have a video here and I hope that I will be able to um, make screenshots but then on the lower level that you can pull out is basically orange and coral tones and also a bit of more cold neutrals I think this is beautiful I love it I love I love I love it and I would definitely want to have this do I have a price for this not right here okay then the next palette where I'm like this this is the palette where I was like nobody told me how how can that be that nobody told me okay so we have a all green palette also with two levels um, one is more like bright greens and really green greens and the other ones are a little bit more like murky and army greens kind of a situation and what is it called does anyone say the name the money shot palette okay I don't know what to think about this that there is always the connection about green and money why is that <laughs> 
have no idea but um, I kind of also don't care because I love it it's beautiful I definitely need this palette here it says 47 pounds so um, I would have to make a calculation what that is in uh, in dollars and what it would mean to me to ship it to me and then of course also buy um, or pay for the customs and stuff like this but boy oh boy boy oh boy and there is more from P. Louise that I want because there's also the bridal series <laughs> There's a very, very big palette that is so, so beautiful. How many shades do we have here? I don't even know. 50 shades. 50 shades of neutrals and rosy neutrals. I know rosies are not neutrals, but I'm just calling it that way. Beautiful. Uh, I'd like, really? Really? And it's not it. You know, there is also the Blend Away 2022 collection, which also has a very, very big palette, just like the one from the Bridal series uh, with more like corals and rosies and then also nice depth and also super nice light shades i love all of this and i want all of this period help me <laughs> What am I gonna do? What am I gonna do? I want at least, yeah, I want four palettes from P. Louise and all of them are huge. Do I need to be shamed now? <laughs> I wouldn't care. I could not care less. It's beautiful. I love it. I love it. I love to have everything. You know? Why live small? I, I don't. I can't. I, I don't have time for small. This is what people ask me when I go to the dog park. Uh, when people come with their tiny little pincher and they see me with my two German Shepherds and my Belgian Malinois and they're like, how do you do this? And I'm constantly like dog training them and whatever. And I'm also, you know, they're not pulling me on their leashes down the path to the dog park. They walk nicely. I make them stop. I make them sit. Even before we get to the dog park, you know, I make them look and only when I give the and they are allowed to move on and stuff like that okay so they they ask me all the time how do you do it how is it how is it to live a life like this with three large dogs and whatever and I say I don't have time for small I do not know how to do small and I don't want to know I do big you know <laughs> like we need people who know how to do big what can I say you know okay so let us also talk about blend bunny because unfortunately i missed <laughs> some releases from blend bunny cosmetics and i'm like oh because i um up until i went to my break or on my break i had all of the palettes from blend bunny cosmetics and again huge fan of that brand super super much speaks to my heart it's an amazing brand and if you don't know please Go and check it out, okay? So, um, so we have, of course, here uh, this beautiful palette. This is the Primal palette. I think that was the first one that I missed. Um, it is super nice depth, absolutely gorgeous. And what she does is, I don't know, she's just always doing such a nice job to put her palettes together. You always, I don't know, not always, but I think, or is that true? In the latest palettes I think this is what she did that she has the column themes giving you an option and a little bit of help in case you need help to put colors together in one look but of course you then can also go like crossover and whatever but um, there is just so much order in those palettes I don't need it necessarily but I think it is very very nice it's very pleasing to the eye and then of course the quality is also super super nice so this is the primal palette which I don't have I missed that one and she she also came out with this highlighter palette which looks absolutely stunning now apparently and I only know this from the comments under certain posts here on Instagram um, people have been commenting on the fact that the primal palette is missing lighter shimmers and just in case you were interested in getting that palette but you know the lack of or <laughs> the lack of lighter shimmers is throwing you off you can also use of course those highlighter shades as topper shades over matte or like mix them with the shimmers that are in the primal palette and lighten them up like that or layering them on top you know so just so you know that that is a good good way of dealing with that issue okay and then there is one that is so soothing so sophisticated so so you know and that's that palette this is the old and up palette and i need this like my next breath of air Am I being overdramatic? 
absolutely not. This is so beautiful. Uh, you know, in a way, you know, first of all, the dollhouse palette, you remember the dollhouse palette? I thought in the beginning, yeah, it's a good palette, I don't need it. Did you know how often I'm using the dollhouse palette? I'm using it so often that I actually have it right here in my essentials basket and not with the rest of my palette collection, which is like behind the camera in a big bookshelf, you know? So uh, because when I sit here and I just need to grab something, one of the things that I can depend on and rely on, dollhouse palette is right here, right here. You know what I'm saying? So super big fan. And this is just something that is dollhouse palette a little bit because it is a little bit softer, more sophisticated and a little bit more neutral. But there is so much in this palette that my soul is screaming for. You know? So yeah, I kind of really, really need this. This retails for $36 and this launched in October and I missed it. <sighs> I don't know. I don't know if I can forgive myself. <laughs> yeah. Okay, what was I doing in October? I have no idea, honestly. <laughs> I don't know. So that is basically what I wanted to share with you regarding the releases. I am just so in love with what I saw. I'm so grateful for all the beauty that has come out. And I am hoping that somehow, by some kind of miracle, I will be able to get myself some of it maybe I would love to because you know um, I'm completely okay with what I have really but um, I, I'm also not on a no-buy <laughs> so it is just so so beautiful this stuff and uh, there are certain brands who just always knock me off my feet with their releases because it just fits it's perfect I love it you know and it's not just this way or just that way it's like sometimes it's this way and in certain other brands they catch me with a different thing you know so I'm just a very loving person who gets caught with a lot of different things <laughs> I don't know. Okay, sweeties, let us just quickly also talk about my brother in Ukraine. In case you don't know, my brother for 20 or 21 years by now lives in Ukraine. He has a humanitarian aid um, uh, situation, organization there. And he has been living there with his wife. He has a farm in central Ukraine and uh, he has a bakery and an oil press and he has a dairy farm and uh, all of that. So he has quite a bit of also f like farm land basically. And uh, he has been there uh, also throughout the war that is of course going on still going on unfortunately and uh, ever since the war started and people from the areas that have been in active like war zones basically um, refugees have been coming through and he has been taking up to I think 22 refugees all of the time you know and now um, the first baby has been born. Now I'm not 100% sure if that is of a family that is still living with them or I think it's actually a woman where the husband is a soldier. I think so. Not 100% sure right now. Um, but they are also still in touch with a lot of the people who have moved on and they're still in touch with them to see how they're doing and what is happening. Some of the people have gone back to their own homes if they're still standing, if they haven't been destroyed. And some people have moved on to find different living situations. Now, the thing is that, which is kind of really, really horrible, honestly, um, that the rental prices in the area where um, there has not been a lot of destruction have gone up so much that people cannot afford it anymore you know and I kind of feel like people what are you doing what are you doing why are you raising your prices it's your people that you can you not be reasonable can we not just have a human heart and be reasonable and take in like people want to pay it's not like people are standing in line to get a freebie okay but uh, it, 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 skyrocketing prices really you know and that is something where I just draw the line and think like this is not this is not good you know uh, where the human spirit kind of breaks down and a few people make a lot of money on the back of 
a lot of people, which is really, really horrible. But that's besides uh, the fact. Of course, you probably know that um, electricity has been a big, big issue. A lot of the um, electricity supply has been, of course, bombarded by Russia, or by the Russian forces. And um, that has been very, very horrible, especially when you have a business and you're trying to bake bread and, and you know, do things like this, where you actually need an oven that works reliably. You cannot just bake the bread for five minutes and then, uh, you know, for two hours the, the electricity is gone and then you continue baking it. It doesn't work that way. Whatever is in the oven at the point or at that moment when the electricity goes away, it's, it's gone, you know, it's a loss. So, and that is bad because they're actually producing their bread to give it, the bread to give it away for free, you know? So it's, um, so that is, that is of course very, very bad. But okay, so they're still taking in refugees, which is not always easy because of course there are also um, different standards between different people of cleanliness, of culture, of like how to behave towards each other and I don't know certain things you know a lot of people are very traumatized and or depressed and people deal with that in different ways some people start to become active on the farm and you know throw their whole energy and kind of also maybe the frustration into something in active work other people mop around and uh, I don't know and can't do anything and are just like not not very friendly potentially you know so you never really know what you're getting but overall i have to say that um my brother and his wife have been in kind of a safe space because they were or they are in central ukraine and the whole belt around them has been war zone and um there has not been any active shelling right where they are okay they have been hearing um, of course bomb alerts and things like this but uh, nothing has hit them so far and we're very grateful for that. Beyond that uh, my brother and his wife also came to Germany for I think twice while I was offline once at the end of the summer I think in August because one of the grandchildren started first grade I hope I'm not saying something wrong but I believe that <laughs> that's what the case was um, one of their grandchildren uh, started first grade so they came basically for the celebration of that and then once during the winter holidays now just a couple of weeks ago and uh, yeah and then they went back and it is always for the people who stay behind on the farm in Ukraine the refugees and also the employees it is always a bit of a breaking point when my brother and his wife leave because first of all there's always the fear that they might just stay in Germany and they will not come back but beyond that you know when the cat is out of the house <laughs> not a good thing you know the cat should always be in the house if you know what I mean um, there is just a certain way how my brother and his wife handle the situation they are very disciplined people they know how to establish order and also like a daily routine and things like this how to have overview of things and if you have a thing like this like um, an organization going on you just need to know what you're doing you need to know who is in charge of what and you need to also be kind of in control of if is everybody doing what they're supposed to be doing so at the end of the day we are not ending up with a mess but stuff got done and uh, everything is, is the way it should be especially in a situation like a war situation where so much is in limbo the things that you can control you need to control them you know there is just nothing like okay so let's um, loosen the leash a little bit no <laughs> it's not healthy the things that you can control control them you know so uh, that at the end of the day you have at least the feeling of some security that certain things are still in your hands I think that is a very very good way of dealing with a situation that you know that's how I was raised. I was raised in a very um, orderly home and um, I think a lot of that kind of education got lost in, <laughs> in today's world, which is very unfortunate. Okay, sweetie, so that is basically what it is. If you have more questions, of course, drop them in the comment section and I can then, of course, make an update in one of my upcoming videos. Subscribe if you're new here and if you like it here. I, of course, have a makeup channel, but sometimes I'm also, of course, talking about other things, about my rescue animals, about my brother in Ukraine or whatever comes into my mind. And uh, But mostly makeup because that is where my heart is, of course, uh, especially because it's 
the, this is the makeup channel okay sweetie so that is what it is check out my social media of course click on the link tree for all the information leave me your comments and I'm so so happy that you were here that you spent the time with me I'm so happy that I got to talk about makeup again and just be really excited about it now of course the other side is <laughs> the frustration that I do not have a thousand dollars lying around to just like go and order it all because I would really love to <laughs> but you know, life is not like that. Okay, so um, only once uh, the kids have everything they need and the, the animals have everything they need, I get to play with uh, stuff like that. So that, that is just real life and it's also healthy like that. Okay. Sweetie, that is it for this week. I hope you did enjoy yourselves. Of course, give me your feedback in the comments and I shall see you here next time for my next video. And up until then, definitely go ahead and sparkle. Hugs and kisses. Bye.